Well, finally we have GPT OSS, a new open source model from OpenAI. Now, this model is free and it is completely open source, which means you can download and run the model locally on your PC. So you don't have to be connected with the internet and this model is not collecting your data. So you can have a chat with this local chat GPT and there is no data being collected, which is good for the privacy. But despite being free, despite the hype around it, this model is really just a toy for developer. So if you're just a casual user and you don't want to install the model in a technical and complex way, there is actually a simple way to run GPT OSS on your computer and you don't even need some or the most powerful PC to be able to run this model. And for that, I do recommend to use a tool called LM Studio. So just go to Google and search for LM Studio and then you can click this result and you can download this tool and install it on your PC. So this is probably one of the best AI tools out there that lets you run some open source models like GPT OSS, Gwen, Gemma, DeepSeek and many more. It is also easy to use and uh, there is a simple user interface that is not uh, so daunting, especially for non-developers, non-technical person. So go ahead, download the program and install it on your PC. And after that, you can launch LM Studio and you'll see something that kind of look like this. I'm using the light theme. That's, that's why it's bright. But uh, for some people, you might be seeing something that is a bit darker depending on the theme setting that you're using. Now here, when I'm recording this video, GPT OS is still very new and there is some hype around it. And that's why I could see there is this announcement that says new OpenAI GPT OS S. And when I click it, I can actually download the model. This is a pop-up message that was provided by LM Studio and it is actually finding the best model that is appropriate for my computer. Now I could do this, but I actually want to install the compressed version of GPT OS S. Technically, I, I have a computer that is powerful enough to run this model, but I don't want to have a very slow response time from chat GPT, from GPT OSS. So I want to download the compressed version of GPT OSS. And this one is actually not the compressed version. It is from OpenAI. So it's still the original version, which is very big for me. But feel free to download this version if you have a decent enough GPU and RAM to run this model. Now I'm going to close this because I want to search the model manually. And to do that, you can click this. And then you can search the model GPT OSS and just wait and you'll see some options that you could install on your PC. Now there is this one, it, it means it is from the official company from OpenAI. You can download this model, but again, I don't want to do that. I want to download the quantized, aka the compressed version of this model. So to do that, usually you have to find the ones that were provided by the community. And here are some options that I would choose. I do recommend to use the one from Unslot, it is very popular. They actually have done a lot of uh, compression and op optimization for AI models, so it could be operated even on a low end PC. And here I'm going to be using GPT OSS 20B, uh, which means 20 billion parameter. So I'll select this one. And okay, there you go. So here, uh, there are actually many variations of this model. If you click this button, you will see that there are many options. There are many variations that I could install on my PC. So yeah, it's going to be very confusing, especially if you're not technical in this uh, AI models. But generally speaking, you want to download the ones that has uh, this, you know, this icon, uh, which means based on the hardware, this option is recommended. You might want to download that and try to avoid the one that says likely too large. Now, technically, I could download this, but again, it's not going to give me the best performance. So just download the one that is re recommended by uh, LM Studio. Okay, I'm going to be selecting this one, Q4KS. Uh, Q4 stands for quantization 4-bit. And that's actually the sweet spot. Uh, there is also Q2, which is uh, even lower. There is also Q6 and Q8, which is going to be a bit more demanding, but will deliver a slightly better result. But for me, for the best balance is Q4. So I'm going to download that and click download and just wait for LM Studio to download this whole model to your computer. And then later you can actually start running it locally on your PC. So I'll be back when it is done. 
all right so the model has been downloaded you can click this load button to start using the model or you can just navigate to this menu sorry about that let me close this and you can select the model which is gbt oss 20 billion parameter i'm going to click this and just wait for ai to initialize this model it might take quite some time depending on your pc specification and some other parameters but just wait until this progress bar is finished and then you can start chatting with this offline chat gpt okay so the model has been loaded i'm going to click this button to create a new chat and now i'm chatting with gpt oss so let's ask this simple question what model are you question mark send a message and just wait for the response it might take quite a while uh, because yeah i'm not actually using the most powerful pc but it should be okay for now so since since it is a thinking model it might be thinking before giving you the question and uh just wait until it is giving you the answer and there you go so i'm built on openai's gpt 4 o architecture essentially the fourth generation generative pre-trained transformer model so yeah we can confirm that this is definitely gbt oss so that's basically how you can use it you can upload some document to uh, help you maybe learn something or summarize the document but remember this is not a multimodal model so you cannot use it to generate a picture or maybe read a picture so just keep that in mind when you're using gpt oss on lm studio so that's how you can download and install gpt oss on your computer via lm studio thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video I wish you a great day ahead.